Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Industry has abandoned mining communities in the north. They seem pleased with the fact that Extrata and Valley have uh, acquired Falcon Bridge and Inco, and the consequences have been disastrous. Extrata has decided to close to close down in Timmins, and we're losing uh, the capacity to refine copper in Ontario. Will the minister admit that his support for Extrada was a serious error, error in judgment? The Honourable Minister of Industry. Speaker, we always uh, judge uh, my predecessors in the, uh, at Industry Canada judge every file based on uh, net benefit to Canada, and I can assure the Honourable Member uh, that uh, continues to be the test uh, here. Uh, the facts on the ground, uh, not uh, not just from this government's point of view, but from the point of view of independent experts, is that uh, foreign direct investment creates jobs, it creates opportunity, it creates innovation, it creates competition, it creates lower prices for consumers. That is the case. We still need uh, Canadian uh, success, but we also need the success of uh, foreigners who are willing to invest in this country. Absolutely. Honourable member for Timmins, James Bay. Mr. Speaker, there's no shortage of bumpkins who've lost their shirts in dodgy mining deals. But this minister traded away Falcon Bridge and Inco, Canada's international mining leaders, and he got nothing in return. Now, Extrata is shutting down the Timmins smelter. We're not just losing a thousand jobs, we're losing the copper and refining capacity of Ontario. And once that capacity's gone, it's not coming back. Will the minister admit, at least, that with Extrata and Valley, that his government blew it and our communities are paying the price?